How's it going Eliminators? Today we have a Honda generator in the shop and I'm going to be cleaning the carburetor but today's video is going to be a little different because I already have a video on how to clean this carburetor. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So I have here a Honda EM5000IS power inverter commonly referred to as a gas generator. It's a Honda so it's a fairly reliable model. As you guys can see, I'm doing things a little differently here. So down on the carburetor, this model has an electronically controlled choke and an electronically controlled throttle. And as good as Honda is at designing things, they never put a plug, so that's hardwired in, to these two electronic motors here. So that would mean that I'd have to go on top, remove all of that, and I didn't really want to do that. So instead, I just simply brought my ultrasonic cleaner over here and we're gonna turn it on. I just built up a little platform here and I can go ahead and crank this up and clean it right here on the machine without even removing that. You guys might be able to see the steam coming off of here. So I've used my Indo 701 ultrasonic cleaning solution which is an industrial strength concentrated degreaser mixed in with boiling water. So I fill up a couple liters of water, dump in a few ounces of cleaner and then top it off with boiling water. But I didn't submerge the electronic motors up there. I just put it up to the carburetor so that the carburetor was submerged. And I have the bowl bolt, the pilot jet, the main jet, and also the distribution tube here in another little Tecumseh snowblower carburetor bowl that I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to dump that in. Probably put my basket in first though. I also have the bowl to the carburetor here. You guys can see there's quite a bit of debris at the bottom. And I'll put up on screen a picture of what the main jet looked like. On the left, it's clogged. In the center, you guys can see I just used an oxyacetylene tip cleaner to poke through that gunk. That's just broken down fuel. And on the right, you guys can see that it's wide open. So on the left, that's the difference between your engine not getting any fuel. And on the right, your engine's now going to get fuel. But this carburetor was still gummed up. So now that I have my basket in here, I'm just going ahead and putting that right in there. Let that sink to the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and run this for about eight minutes. So the carburetor is now clean. I've reassembled it, pressure tested it. Everything tests okay. The carburetor was ready to be reinstalled. So I put it back onto the machine and we're gonna take this generator outside, fire it up and see how it runs. We got a clean rebuilt carb. Moment of truth here. Oh yeah. Starts first pull. So you saw that generator fired up first pull, runs great, nice and smooth. The electronic eco mode, as Honda likes to call it, basically just puts the generator in a lower RPM. And then if the generator senses a load being put on it, let's say that you have an angle grinder plugged in and you go ahead and turn that on, the engine will automatically kick up to higher RPM. That's basically just for emissions purposes, obviously, so that uh, the engine's not running at high RPM, putting a bunch of emissions into the atmosphere, but also it's gonna save on gas because the engine's not running at high RPM, burning all that fuel. So like I said, I already did a video on how to clean one of these carburetors. If you wanna see that video, you can check in the description down below. I'll have that posted. And I can also include a video explaining how one of these carburetors work. If you're interested, I can also link that in the top right of your screen, and I'll put that in the description down below as well. Well, so today's video essentially just served the purpose of showing you guys that uh, you don't always have to go and do everything to disassemble something. Sometimes you can cut these corners and there's really no cons to doing that. Uh, in the case of this, it would have been nice to see Honda run a plug so that you could simply just unplug the wiring harness and then take that entire carburetor assembly over to where your ultrasonic cleaner is and then clean it there. Because if I would have had to remove that plastic covering, there's two electronic motors under there controlling the throttle and the choke as well and inside of there there's little tiny gears and there's little tiny springs 
and it's just more work that I didn't have to do. So instead of bringing the carburetor to my ultrasonic cleaner, I brought the ultrasonic cleaner to my carburetor. But that's it for today's video, just a little quick one. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up, you know it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure you stop by next week, check channel out for new content, and as always guys, thanks for watching.